Across all the future tech that has been immortalized in Hollywood films over the decades, nothing seems to capture my dream until I heard about the hoverboard. The concept seems simple enough which taunted me over years until yesterday when I came across the Lexus hoverboard. It's a real thing. The video that we are watching is a Lexus commercial. It might sound weird to see a car company making a hoverboard. And of course it's not a finished product. It's just a prop used for the commercial. The brand says it recently completed testing of the hoverboard at a specially built hover park in Cubulus. The park is made out of wood that has been painted to look like cement, with an embedded magnetic track that had clearly been covered with some sort of plaster in an effort to conceal it. Of the many technologies predicted by the 1999 classic Back to the Future Part 2, perhaps none has stirred our collective imaginations more than the Maddles hoverboard. The combination of an important part of American pop culture, the humble skateboard with not quite plausible futurism made for a powerful combination and people have been trying to replicate it ever since. Some of those efforts have been marginally successful, but none have produced the dream of go anywhere skateboard replacement. Still we want these things so badly that we keep pounding away consistently ignoring the realities of physics in the 26 years since the movie came out. Now let's talk on the science behind the Lexus board. The board uses magnetic levitation to do its thing. Liquid nitrogen cools superconductors embedded in the board to 197 degree Fahrenheit allowing them to generate a magnetic field between the superconductors and the permanent magnets which are mounted on the surface of the board. That means you can't take the whole board just anywhere you want unless you're willing to seed the ground first with magnets. Lexus installed about 200 meters that is 656 feet of magnetic track in the test areas in places which allows the whole board to pull off some new stunts like to travel over water that's cool unlike the hendo which utilizes electromagnets in combination with the copper flow the lexus hoboard works with liquid nitrogen cool superconductors and even magnets one thing to note about the hoboard is that it stays charged only for 20 minutes give it or take depending on the ambient temperature and the weight of the rider once the liquid nitrogen evaporates the board loses its superconductivity and it's time to recharge so here we are at the beginning of a new era the world of tech has drastically evolved over the past few years. This is something huge. Either way, thanks for watching. Your truly droid sector, our truly this life.